Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. How you all doing, guys and girls? Now, we are doing pretty... Well, we're doing pretty bad, actually, guys. Um, In the PCC. Um, King of the Ring is going amazingly, though. We are 21-0. and 0. There is one human in this King of the Ring, and... Well, if he doesn't start playing properly, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, because he's in third place right now. Um, and I believe if he stays there, then third place will fight me in the semi-finals. Um, because I believe that for the winner of first and eighth goes on to fight the winner of third and sixth. Um, so if he doesn't move out of that position soon which obviously we're only halfway through the competition. Um, but if he doesn't move out of, that situa out of that position soon, then he is going to get knocked out in the quarterfinals. Uh, or, sorry, the semifinals. Um, so I kind of really hope that he kind of pushes back up into first, uh, back up into second place. Um, because as you can see here, his deck... Well, guys, his deck isn't good enough to beat me. He's got a WrestleMania Daniel Bryan... He's got a WrestleMania Roman Reigns. He's running a bad diva tag team, a WrestleMania base and a Survivor base. He's running an Edge and a Mr. Perfect and a Sheamus. Now, he's running base WrestleMania cards with bad divas. Um, so he's kind of trying to eight-man battle, well, seven-man band it, um, but with just base Wrestlemania cards, so I guess he was trying to be a little bit sneaky and go on the bottom end of the Wrestlemania, but still play with Wrestlemania cards, and maybe he could get an easy King of the Ring, like a sneaky King of the Ring, but it doesn't work in Wrestlemania, um, whether you have your best cards or your worst cards, it's just pure random if you're going to fight good people or bad people, you know, like look at my last King of the Ring, I had a medium slash team, but I was fighting people with WrestleMania Divas, all the event cards, and yet the team was exactly the same as I had previously, and I had like not eight in a row where I had tons and tons of bots. The last one, obviously I had like nine humans, all with very good cards, the exact same deck, and I've now got a King of the Ring with like 13 bots and one other human. So it's kind of a bit of hit and miss. Um, so in my opinion, if you're in WrestleMania, I don't see the point in you trying to downgrade your team. Just put your best cards and stay active. Now, the reason why I said we weren't doing that great is because yesterday, guys, I couldn't play very much. Um, I was kind. I got really busy. I, I couldn't really play a huge amount. I did have to go buy some title matches. Um, I used up all them title matches, and I was correct on the basis of um, we are using, we're getting kind of like 15 to 20 every sort of 80 to 100 games. That seems to be what I've kind of worked out on the amount of games that I've played. That's roughly what I'm getting on title matches. So I would assume it's going to be the same for you guys, but I'm not sure. Obviously, everyone's game is different. Your pull rates are different and stuff like that. But I would assume that you would be getting roughly the same kind of setup as I am. But, as I say, guys, I couldn't really play too much yesterday. And I ended up playing a little bit last night. Which kind of got me back up into the contestants brackets. Because I actually fell down to 2000 and 2300 I think it was so I was actually out of the event card which has been the first time I've been out of the event card since day one um even though I wasn't pushing too hard day one I got into that event card and that's why I stayed and I continued to play and I did buy titles and stuff like that so I could stay up there as soon as I was able to get there um, but as I said guys I did have a busy weekend so I wasn't sure how long I was going to be able to play and stuff and unfortunately yesterday was a bad 
day for that. If I knew it was going to happen, I probably wouldn't have pushed the way I pushed. Um, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay up in this top ranks now. Because a lot of people have pushed. Um, about I, I, I was playing and I stopped playing um, about an hour ago. Um, went and got a drink done my clash royale video and i've already lost 300 ranks um so people are pushing quite hard because in the space of an hour i've lost 300 places so yeah um but we are still in a safe zone we're still at that 1.4 we've still got eight uh, 80 title matches which I'm going to save until tonight because tonight is where everyone is going to be pushing like crazy and that's where I'm going to need to get my points. Um, as you can see we have 14 hours left on this competition. In the last sort of 6 hours that's when this comp that's when the PCCs go nuts that's when everyone really starts grinding people go and buy the like an extra lot of title matches just because they're so close to getting to where they want to be and they really push so I'm gonna save those title matches and any extra ones that I get I'll save them as well I'm assuming by that time by the time that the event gets to the point that I'm going to have to push I'm assuming I'll be up to about 100 title matches um, and that will be like another 1000 points in translation, 80 title matches right now will give me another 800 points which will put me where I don't even know how many points I've got but I think it will put me around the 6k mark which I'm hoping and I'm praying is going to be good enough for AJ Styles because I really don't think I'm going to have much time because, I, again, I'm doing this video really quickly right now, but I have to go out in literally like 20 odd minutes, guys. Um, so I haven't got much time, um, but I wanted to get this video done and uploaded um, and quickly sort that out. And then, literally, while I'm traveling, I'm gonna like well I say traveling while while I'm going where I need to go I'm gonna link my uh, iPad or my laptop whatever I end up taking with me to my phone get some internet going and I will do like all the um, things to make it like upload basically um, so hopefully everything's going to be okay we should still ha have this pretty soon it should um it should be up by sort of like maybe two ish i'm hoping two o'clock today uk time obviously guys um but hey i don't know um we've got as i say we've got a few things to do today so hopefully we're going to be able to grind out a few more matches we're going to be able to get a few more title matches and we're going to be able to stay in that top zone. Now, as you can see there, we are just under 6,000. So, in fact, those title matches are going to take us up to 7,000. So, that's my mistake. That's going to take me up to 7,000. And right now, we are 1,460. An hour ago, I was 1,100 and something. So, I've lost a lot of positions, guys. But... That's the way that this event goes at the very end. If you can't play, you lose ranks. Um, but, hey, I don't know, guys. I was kind of thinking the uh, yesterday, though. I think it would be quite nice if it wouldn't have been too good for me to this weekend because, obviously, I'm busy. But I think it would be quite nice if PCC wasn't four days long. Um, I'm thinking that if... The I personally don't like PCC. I don't think it should be in the game. Um, I think they should take it out. But on the other hand, if PCC was only 48 hours, like two days instead of four days, as in, you know, like 96 hours or whatever it is, um, I think it would be a lot better. Um, instead of a four-day event, make PCC a two-day event, kind of like what the flash events were at the end of season 
uh, at the end of Survivor tier on Season 2. Um, I think that that PCC that was only two days, um, that was quite a fun event. And they don't have to give, like, double rewards. I don't think they should give out the double rewards. I think they should still make it so that, obviously, it's one reward, um, just a 48-hour event. Just make it Saturday and Sunday. Um, because then it's going to be more fun. People aren't going to be grinding all the time. And it, in my opinion, it would just be so much better. So I think that would be a lot better if they made PCC two-day event rather than a four-day event um in my opinion um and i'm just, just going to throw this away um well unfortunately that was a bad call so yeah but because that is uh nakamura's worst stat i didn't really want to use him for it um and and hey, we sh we've won that guys that's nice we've actually gone and won that so that is pretty damn good in my opinion that is pretty good pretty good okay so yeah put your thoughts down below guys what do you think do you think that the pcc should st stay as it is or do you think that you or do you agree with me do you think the pcc should be a two-day event rather than a four-day event put your comments down below and while you're putting that comment down below don't forget to hit that like button because a little bit of support is amazing if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the video please hit that subscribe button if you're a veteran of the channel and you've already hit that subscribe button then i love you so yeah guys that's what i think you should do you should put down in the comments today what you think about the pcc um what do you think the team event's going to be because i don't think the team event is up yet i haven't actually looked um i think um Going off of the, the scheme of things, I think it's actually an RTG. Yeah. No. What was the last one? Yeah, the last one was a ring domination. Yeah, so the next one should be an RTG, guys. Um, who do you think it's going to be? I'm not going to lie, I want it to be Paige. <laughs> because then I can go and get another Paige. Um, but I don't know. I don't know who it will be. Let's go check. Let's go see if there is anything up on the Twitter or the Facebook. I don't think there is, though. That's, yeah, no, that's all from last time. There's nothing on Twitter about it all. And I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything on Facebook saying about an event or anything. Oh, look, people love me. They're trying to ask me to be their friends. Um, no, there's... Oh, wait, Dean Ambrose. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Dean Ambrose, isn't it? It's a road to glory. Yeah. Oh, wow, I, I completely forgot about that, guys. Um, yeah, so the team event is a road to glory, and it is for Dean Ambrose. So that is correct, and I completely forgot about that because Dean Ambrose is a pro for me. So that is going to be tomorrow, and he's going to be a pro. So that is pretty damn cool, in my opinion because we already have one and are these energized up oh what's going on here my phone is having a spasm um they're all energized up so that's pretty damn good we're gonna have one more battle guys and if you haven't while we have this battle please go down <laughs> scroll down just that little bit just that little teeny bit scroll down below this video hit that like and subscribe for me if you haven't go on do it while we play this game you know you want to because you've had fun because if you're still here you know you've had fun so obviously we've gone and lost that one because he had a power up we're going to lose this one because he's going to have an andre okay well he didn't have an andre so we won that one but now because we've lost one of the big guys we're going to get our small guys which is obvious and we're going to lose that one um because that's the way it works if you lose one of your big guys you're gonna lose the game because it's always gonna give you your bad card um not very often would have it given me that diva match but unfortunately we're gonna go out on a loss in this video but i really hope that everyone's doing in well in your pcc still and you're doing well in your king of the rings and all of that good stuff so i shall see you in the next video guys thanks very much for watching peace on the streets